Well, here we have a 40-year-old Briggs & Stratton, 3 horsepower, chokomatic style carburetor. That means automatic choke. The only problem with these, other than when they break down, is when you shut your lawnmower off when it's hot, they don't restart because the choke comes on a warm engine and you don't need a warm engine to st with a choke on to start. You need the choke to be off, so you have to let them sit 20 minutes. Now, when a chokomatic is turned off, the butterfly valve should always be closed. Now this one's partway open. So that makes sense. The complaint the customer had was sometimes it starts and sometimes it doesn't. Well, sometimes I guess it was closing by itself and like right now, it doesn't close by itself. When I push it closed manually, it does start. When you're checking these to see if they're functioning properly, make sure they're closed, then start it. They should open up within two to three seconds. If it opens up, it takes a long time to open up, or it doesn't open all the way, or it stays closed, then you'd have to change your diaphragm. Diaphragms come in two styles for these carburetors, the bigger one and the smaller one. That's the bigger one that's going to work on this lawnmower. That's the smaller one. And they both have a spring like this that clips on them underneath on that little black clip. Whenever you're running one of these lawnmowers, with the air cleaner off, always put the screw back in because very often the screw goes right down into the tank and if you don't have the screw in it starts sucking gas out of the hole in the tank and flooding it out and it also doesn't make the right amount of suction when that screw is not in there for the choke to work. Now that the carburetor is removed, you know, along with the gas tank, I just take off the carburetor and be careful there's a little short, large diameter spring in there, and don't let it drop inside. There's the spring I'm talking about. That spring does not sit in that pocket. That's totally wrong. This spring goes in the pocket underneath the carburetor with the washer side facing out, like that. If you reassemble it with that spring in that hole, when you start it, it won't run right and it'll puff and race up and down and make puffs of black smoke. We can already tell that this one has a problem. This is your diaphragm chamber where the choke spring and choke lever operate. There should never be gas in there, so that's telling me my diaphragm is leaking someplace. When you have these apart, scratch these screens clean and blow on them and see if you can get air to pass through. Sometimes varnished gas clogs them and they look clean, but blow on them and see if you can get air to pass through. Sometimes varnished gas clogs them and they look clean, but no gas will blow through. Or When you reassemble one of these after you're done changing that diaphragm, I always take a paper towel or something and dry the gas out of that hole. I don't recommend blowing it because often it blows the gas all over the place and gets in your eyes. Like so. But I've got, now that I've got the uh, new diaphragm on, I've got that spring in the right place and I've sort of got to hold the diaphragm like this and pinch it with my fingers while I'm setting it back onto the carburetor, I mean back onto the gas tank so that that thing, spring thing doesn't fall out. Make sure when you drop the little tiny spring down, it doesn't go crooked in this area, that it falls straight into that hole. When the carb is set back on, you may have to wiggle it a little bit and adjust the gasket to make sure it's completely lined up perfectly with all those holes. That's very important. Now just tighten all the screws evenly. Once everything's tightened up, check that your chokomatic works properly. Just push it open, and it should close slowly every time. Stays part way open, or something like that. You might have that little spring below here bent over and jammed, or you might have not taken the gas out of that pocket. This one's working great, so I can put it back on. But before I do that, I always shake the intake manifold tube. It shouldn't shake at all. Sometimes they're loose. They're loose because the two screws back here where the manifold connects to the block sometimes loosen. There's a little paper gasket in there. 
when that's loose, when the engine's running, it won't idle. When you do get it to run, it only runs at full speed. When you try to slow it down, it surges up and down and wants to stall. That's because it's sucking air that's getting around the carburetor and getting in the back of the manifold over there. The tension on this spring controls your governor speed, and that's your shutoff switch. Don't forget to put that back in to test it. A lot of times people have played with the mixture screw in these older lawnmowers and don't exactly know where to set it to get the lawnmower running or running the best. Well, if you turn it two turns out or somewhere close to that, it will always start. But it will be running too rich, it will be chugging lots of black smoke. So what you do is have a screwdriver stuck in here to keep the choke held wide open and slowly start tightening the screw in a clockwise direction while the motor is running at full speed. As soon as the motor smooths out and runs perfectly smooth and runs at the highest RPMs, then turn it one more eighth past that to the closed position, just an eighth of a turn more, and stop. Then your lawnmower is set. If you go to start it the next day when the motor's cold, and every time it starts right up, runs for a few seconds and dies, and providing there's no water in the carburetor, then you'll have to turn the screw back maybe a quarter turn and try again. That allows more gas. That means you may not have it set properly. So that's how you set one of these. Before you put all this back on, check that the top of the gas tank isn't cracked here or here or sometimes even there as they often do. They crack from vibrations from a bent blade or people put on your foot on here when they're starting them. Now like I mentioned before, to try to make a lawnmower that's a Briggs & Stratton start on one pull to impress people, always tilt it so that the spark plug points towards the ground for two seconds and that primes the little extra gas chamber that's in the carburetor. Good enough. Now let's see what's going to happen. Perfect. And the choke opened instantly. We'll shut it off and see if the choke closes. And the choke closed instantly too, so now we know the problem is completely solved.